Oh, and thanks for continuing with us for more Explore Tulsa. Now, usually when you think about beer, it's all woohoo, party time. But for a couple of Tulsa brothers, brewing ale is a true art form. Plus, they sell really cool socks. I just kind of always grew up around good beer. My parents' friends and their friends uh, home brewed and, and really enjoyed craft beer even in, you know, in the, I guess, the 90s and so. Um, things like Boulevard and New Belgium uh, were, were beers I was seeing at, at a younger age. So um, that and the fact that I had people around me that were home brewing, it just always um, kind of made me interested. I've always been one that likes to craft and make things with my hands. And uh, you turn 21 and are going to school at the University of Oklahoma and, and beer is a part of your life. So it, it only really made sense that I'd start to home brew and, and you know, a hobby turned into an obsession and then a, a, a career and now a business. Prairie Artisan Ales started in early fall 2012. Um, before that I worked in other breweries and um, had a few other projects going on but I knew always that I wanted to have my own place so uh, Prairie, I felt, was the opportunity for me to really go for it. Um, me and my little brother, Colin, just kind of came to the conclusion that we'd make beers that, that we liked and he'd do art that uh, he wanted. And, and neither one of us would try to tell one another what to do. It'd really just be um, art as we've you know, both realized it. So he has this design for the outside and I have a design for the inside and it allows us to both express our uh, artistic side, our personalities, our point of views. I really believe that there's enough excitement about craft beer and enough drinkers around the world that you can be very specific with what you want to make and, and people that are, are really after those styles will seek it out. Uh, a lot of our beer we age in wine barrels or spirit barrels or um, use unusual yeast and bacteria in them so we're creating something more wine-like in our production and uh, maybe aging it as long as a year or two. So um, you're definitely not going to be able to find a, a $6 six pack from us anytime soon. The beer that's really caught on for us is Prairie Bomb and it's a 13% Imperial Stout that we age on ancho chilies, uh, espresso beans, raw chocolate and vanilla beans. Uh, those four flavors just kind of combined and meld together to make this really amazing beer that um, people just seem to go nuts for. Uh, we sell it everywhere and it's funny because it kind of is, we just brewed it as a one-off, let's see what it's like and people have gone nuts for it and so we've since uh, released it around the world and there's variations that we've aged in rum barrels, whiskey barrels, apple brandy barrels. Uh, we're releasing a Christmas version of it. So it's a funny little beer that's really helped us kind of build everything around us uh, due to its popularity. It's amazing to really see this little brand that we've created grow into something that's way beyond me or my brother. You know, we both grew up in the Tulsa area. I went to OU, he went to RSU, and um, being proud of where we're from, we certainly wanted that to be a part of, of who we are and our identity. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's really, it's a sense of pride when we go and pour beer at a festival in, in Copenhagen uh, or uh, Italy. and we get to tell them, yeah, we're, we're from Tulsa, Oklahoma, you know? So I think a big thing for us is trying to create a, a product and a community of beer lovers that, that helps make Oklahoma just like a cooler place to live. Mm -hmm.